Welcome Tank Mechanics in a new tutorial video for the game Tank Mechanics Simulator. In a previous video on my channel, I explained how you can make your own decals. In this video I'm going to explain how you can upload your work to the game Steam Workshop. Before you want to upload your work to the Steam Workshop, you need to start the game. The game needs to run in the background in order for the workshop uploader to work. The workshop uploader that we are going to use, is a simple program that the developers put in the game files. For me that is, xDrive, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Tank Mechanic Simulator, Modding Tools, Steam Workshop Support, Steam Workshop 64.ex. If you want to read a manual, in which all this is explained as well, you'll find that at the same location. It is called readme.pdf. Now open that Steam Workshop 64.ex file. Before we do anything with the uploader, we need to organize our file browser. Go to the location on your hard drive where you saved your made decals, posters, camouflages, etc. Copy the folder in which the items you want to upload are put. Now go to, or create, the folder called Upload. In that folder there needs to be another folder, called Content. In that Content folder there needs to be always two things. The first thing is a folder with a name of own choosing. In that folder there will be the files of your decals or whatever you want to upload to the workshop. In this case, we are going to paste the folder which we just copied. The second thing that needs to be in the content folder, is a text file. That text file is going to tell the system what kind of files you are uploading to the workshop. Currently that can be decals, camouflages, posters, flags or stents. Those items are represented by the words, decal for decals, camo for camouflages, flag for flags, poster for posters and stands for museum stents. Once you have your folder with the items, and the text file with the correct content, in the content folder, we can go to the next step. You start with giving your mod a name. After giving it a name, you write a description. That can be the explanation of what your mod represents, but that can also be information on how people can contact you, ask questions, or even support your work. The next step is choosing the visibility. You can choose between, private, friends only, or public. Then, we are going to give it a tag. You can choose between, camouflages, decals, flags, posters or stents. The tag needs to be the representative of the word you've put in the text file. In this case we're going to upload decals. In the next step we need to guide the program to the upload directory. Our upload directory is the folder called content. Remember? That is the folder in which we had the other folder with our files, and that text file with the word decal. It is always nice that every mod you upload, has a nice preview image. That looks great in the Steam Workshop. Make sure that your preview image is 512 by 512 pixels large. Those are the same dimensions as for creating decals. And now the final step. For a new mod, you can simply click, Create Item. When everything is uploaded properly, you will get a notification, and the Steam Workshop will automatically open on your mods page. If you just want to update an already existing mod, you have to follow the following steps. First, click on the mod you want to update in the list of mods. The title and the description will get copied automatically. But make sure to check it twice. The visibility and tag needs to be set manually. And then you just do the same steps as for uploading a mod. You lead the program to the upload directory. And give it a preview image. You can also put something in the change log. Like if you added an extra decal, then let people know what decal you've added. To complete the update of a mod, you simply click the button, Update Item. Again, the Steam Workshop page will automatically open when the process is done. If you want to delete a mod, you select the mod in the list, and click the button, Delete Item.